to the max. You know, they they had uh, mock duck and uh, <laughs> and what was also the the white ship and Mother Tucker's yellow duck and Chrome Circus and all these psychedelic oh, bands raving away at a. 130 dB all day. <laughs> and then Guitar Shorty from Seattle got up on stage oh, yeah. and he had all the amplifiers spun up to 11, <laughs> was just cranking it out, and a power surge came along and knocked all the amplifiers out. They <laughs> 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 got stuck there. They all walked off stage, leaving nobody up there. The organizers saw me. He said, Valdi, get up there, sing some songs, keep the people occupied. Hey, no problem. <laughs> so I got in front of 5,000 people who'd been listening to ear-bleeding rock and roll all day. I got up with an acoustic guitar. Suzanne takes you down. <laughs> you can hear the bones. All I could hear was boogie. <laughs> this crowd was just, they were incensed. They just want rock and roll. So I played until someone clapped, and I ran. <laughs> and I went home and I, I wrote a song about it, and I have been cathartically sharing that rejection with audiences for four decades now. <laughs> you see, I had come into town as a man of renown, as a writer of songs about freedom and joy. The hall had been rented, and I was presented as the kind of a singer most folks could enjoy. As I climbed up the stairs to the stage, it was there. It was obvious something wasn't missing. I could tell by the vibes they wouldn't be bribed. They weren't in the mood to listen. They yelled out, Play me a rock and roll song. Don't play me some songs about freedom and joy. Get up and play. So I got up and played some songs about peace, contentment, some of the things that I had come to believe in. When I was through to this chorus of boo, some track star yelled, thank God he's leaving. Now someone played me a rock and roll song. I've had it to hear with your flowers and ears. Play me a rock and roll song, but don't play me no song at all. Well, it came to pass that I got to play up in Fort McMurray, the Keanu, Keanu College Auditorium. It was the Alberta Summer Games. And I played this song, and some guy came up to me at the end of the show. I'm 6'2 and change. I was looking way up to him. He said, what do you got against track stars, Valdi? <laughs> I said I was talking about a different kind of track star, sir. <laughs> he didn't get it. <laughs> I'm still here anyway. Besides, if I got up and played you a rock and roll song, how could it be fair if my head is so we'll leave you with your rock and roll songs to make my way back towards the country. Still I can hear. Play me a rock and roll song. Don't give me music I don't want to hear. Play me a rock and roll song. I should have stayed at home with a small case of beer. Play Should have stayed at home with a case of Granville Island. Hey, 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 to divide y'all up, you just <laughs> pick your own parts and play all the way out of here.
Northland Corral, climbing up in here.